All right, guys, I hope you can hear me over the noise. So what we're going to do here today is uh, do a cold startup demo on the M1 utility today. And I'll walk you through uh, setting this up and uh, getting this going. Um, so first thing I'm going to go over is the air purge line for your, your water tank. Um, if you don't pressurize this, um, you'll build up uh, surface tension in this in this needle valve, and it'll be uh, inconsistent. So to overcome that, we uh, purge this with a slight pressure, pressure, and we have a free source to pressurize that. And it's uh, from our crankcase back of the engine. So you just slip this hose into the breather hose, and if you watch the, uh, or if you be, check out the the carburetor um, setup tutorial and the and the forum, you'll you'll see how I, I set the carburetor up and then uh, um, relieve that for the the water water purge. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna make sure our water tank is full. And this is roughly uh, two liters. It's a little more than two liters. At least for the the M1 U, um, the M1 standard. one base model I believe that one's uh, roughly half this one so it's about one liter so there's our two liters we're still we can still actually put more in it all right so I'm gonna replace the cap but I'm not gonna crank it down leave it on loose just so that we can relieve uh, some pressure in case it over pressurizes and next is to put fuel in it uh, it already has some fuel I've been running this there's five gallons probably about seven seven eight gallons to put in there But it wasn't completely empty. Okay. Alright, so as you see there, I got a, a speed control. And that is due to this blower is extremely powerful. So I do recommend uh, getting a speed control. However, you can... Uh, um, control the output by this valve um, but it's harder on the motor all right so I have that my blower plugged in to the speed control speed control is plugged into this 400 watt inverter so I can pull off my battery now my alternative is to pull off my off-grid system and get AC from it um, or you can uh, run this blower on DC however um, it'll be very slow on 12 volts um, you'll more than likely need to get a buck converter and um, convert the voltage to like 48 volts um, to get any performance out of the blower <clears throat> so you can see the there's my gas out port quick connect hose leading to the pancake filter um, this is a single plane you can pretty much stack these indefinitely um, this seems to work pretty good mixer valve and then our hose going to the engine adapter and then there is a tutorial on the forum showing you how to uh, adapt this to the the predator engines the honda um, single cylinder engines and all the clones um, it basically just bolts in place of the, the air cleaner. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Alright. So. If this is your first uh, attempt at running your new gasifier. Um, I recommend that you uh, do a run without any load on the, on the generator at all. Just, run, just do an engine run. Um, get used to setting up the machine. Um, 
listen to it um, get used to how it runs and um, before you try to apply a load then once you once you successfully uh, run the machine then you can uh, start applying loads um, just don't overdo it um, start doing it gradually plugging more and more things into it until you find the, the limits um, generally with wood gas it's about a 50 percent um, derating so this one's uh, 72 50 uh, running watts which um i think that's a little optimistic for this little guy that's probably closer to five five kilowatts um i know that uh you can get 2500 watts pretty consistent with uh, a gasifier it doesn't matter if it's a charcoal unit or or direct raw wood gas it's actually charcoal uh with the water drip is actually more powerful um but you can you can achieve uh three kilowatts at times um, but I think 3,500 watts would be pushing it. Okay. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your mixer valve is closed. And open your, your clear cup uh, valve all the way open. And then you'll remove the ignition port. Now I am going to use a torch. Just simply because it's uh, convenient, but you can light this thing with a match. So now that I have that open, let me turn my blower on. And I'll give that a few seconds to get the combustion good and established. Now I'm going to open the intake. Oh, I got that all jammed up. Alright, bear with me a second. That was less than graceful. Alright, so I'm gonna let it warm up. Alright, so I'm gonna take you guys around back. Get a look inside the ignition part. Quite ready yet. Where to sustain? All right, so my uh. My battery died. You do need a strong battery. Could be a bad connection too. But I got her going. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, I'm gonna switch the blower off and try to start the engine. Okay.
okay now I'm gonna start adding water into the, the uh, intake Pretty much it. Okay, so awesome.